so hi everyone this is jay your instructor for computer networks and in this session we are going to discuss the difference between the pure aloha and the slotted aloha so let's start this pure aloha and the slotted aloha are the part of the random access protocol so what is the random access protocol in the random access protocol we will see that when there is a collision in network they will wait for some random amount of time you are going to discover that in the random access protocol uh, there is a high possibility that uh, the send data will be part of the collision so there are some steps for the random access protocol and let's see that first so in the random access protocol all the stations have same priority there is nothing like master or slave and in the random access protocol there is no fixed time for sending data any station can send data at any time they want there is no slot so they are flexible to send uh, data at their own time and in the random access protocol the third point is that there is no fixed sequence it means that there is no queue so when there is no queue any station can send data at any time because they does not have to wait for their previous sender to complete its transmission right so after that the next point in the random access protocol is that two or more stations are sending data at the same time it will create collision so it is very obvious right because there is no priority there is no fixed sequence and there is no queue there is a high possibility that channel all the devices share will be the part of the collision because there is a high possibility that two or more devices are sending data at the same time so when they are sending data at the same time all the data that are sent by those devices will be collided together and it will create noise right it will create junk in the channel and this noise if received by receiver it will not be able to understand that what is its data like what is that data because it is nothing but the junk data all the signals are changed drastically uh, the random access protocol we will see that how to detect the collision and we will also see that how to record from the collision like how the station know if station has sent the message how he or she knows that its own packet is the part of the collision and what it has to do when there is a collision in network so these are the point that we are going to see so there are many types of the random access protocol the first type of the random access protocol is the aloha it is further divided into the pure aloha and the slotted aloha the second type of the random access protocol is the carrier sense multiple access and it is also divided into two types the first type is the carrier sense multiple access with collision detection and the carrier sense multiple access with collision avoidance so first one is also known as csms cd cd and the second one is the csms ca in the aloha methods we will see that the system is totally dependent on the acknowledgement so after sending packet the sender will wait for the acknowledgement from the receiver if the acknowledgement is not received the sender will going to assume that its packet is a part of the collision so station will retransmit the packet after some time in the carrier sense multiple access there is no acknowledgement so how the station knows that its packet is delivered or not so in the carrier sense multiple access the uh, before sending any packet the sender will check the channel if the channel is free or it is idle there is no transmission then it will send the packet and it will assume that there is no collision we are going to see that uh, in, we will see, we will see that uh, in more detail when we will discuss this csma method uh, in this session we are going to see the pure aloha and the sorted aloha so in the pure aloha any station can transmit data at any time they want there is no time limit and uh, after sending the packet the sender will wait for some fixed amount of time why sender is waiting for some fixed amount of time 
because sender is waiting for the acknowledgement for example after sending packet sender will wait for 10 seconds so within those 10 seconds the sender uh, should receive the acknowledgement sender is supposed to receive acknowledgement if sender has not received acknowledgement it means that there is some problem in the channel and sender is going to assume that there is a collision in network so it will wait for some time and after waiting for some time it will send the packet again and if acknowledgement is not received then there is a collision right so this is the figure of the pure aloha you can see that there are six devices a b c d e and f and those devices are sending packet in the shared channel the channel is common between these all devices you can see that the first packet which is sent by the device a is sent successfully after some time when a has completed its transmission b has begin its transmission and b has sent its data after some time the device e has transmitted its packet but when device e is at halfway of its transmission the c has begun its transmission so you can see that the c and e packets are the part of the collision now these packets are the part of the collision the receiver of c and e will receive nothing but the junk data so all the data is received by those receiver are the junk because those data are the part or those data has gone through the collision so when there is a collision and when the receiver receives junk data receiver will does receival receiver will not provide any acknowledgement so if receiver doesn't provide any acknowledgement in the stimulated amount of time the sender will going to assume that okay there is some problem so there is a collision so sender will send the data again now notice sender cannot send data again as soon as it knows that there is a collision because if it send data as soon as it knows that there is a collision there will be high chance that again there will be collision so instead sender will wait for some random amount of time which is also known as back of time so in the back of time the sender will wait for some random amount of time for example c will wait for 5 seconds and d will wait for 10 seconds and after waiting for random amount of time they will send their packet again because there is a low possibility that the back of time of those uh, devices will be same the collision chances of the collision will be less the second type is the slotted aloha now what is slotted aloha the only difference between the pure aloha and the slotted aloha is that in the slotted aloha all the time is divided into slots so any station that wants to send data it will send data at the starting of particular slot only if the starting of the slot is missed the sender is not allowed to send data in that slot so that is the condition that is the rule for the slotted aloha the other uh, conditions are the same other all procedures are the same as the pure aloha is that it will wait for the acknowledgement if the acknowledgement is not received it means that there is a collision but because of the slot the chances of the collision are less as compared to pure aloha let's see this figure the six same devices that we saw earlier are sending data the only difference is that they can send data at the starting of the slot they cannot send data in the middle or any other slot other than the starting of the slot so you can see that uh, the device sent by the packet sorry the packet sent by a and c are the part of the collision and because those packets are the part of the collision uh, they will wait for some back of time and they will send the packet again so that is the slotted law and this is it for today's session i hope you know the difference between the pure and the slotted law thank you so much